Wikipedia is a modern adaptation of the traditional ballet, which is about Swanhilde and Franz who enter in this world of Dr. Capelius, who is making a doll of a human being. The original story was inspired by a Hoffman tale, which also deals with kind of dolls and artifice and illusion. So it felt like that was a really good crossover for our work because we're quite interested in, in illusion and um, what film can bring to that. We wanted to work using film on stage and using kind of the technology as a storytelling device as well. So the fact that that is part of the story felt really like a great jumping off point for us. Back in the late 19th century, this kind of preoccupation with technology and the anxieties around that, it feels really relevant to us because obviously there are a lot of those preoccupations today around AI in particular, data collection, big tech. So the technology has updated itself in a way, but the kind of worry and anxiety and preoccupation around it is still the same. The character of the sort of doll maker in the original, that felt like quite a rich point to kind of depart from a little bit and, and blow it up. Back when it was created, it was literally like a carpenter creating a doll with his hands manually. And obviously technology's come a really long way since then. So we were thinking about, you know, what is the modern equivalent and who are the kind of inventors and creators of today? And that drew us to these kind of characters of these tech giants and these crazy personalities. Normally in Capelia, Dr. Capelius is a bit of a frail, pitiable old man. And in this version, he really is a charismatic, powerful, egotistical character who thinks he owns the world, really. Uh, Steve Jobs kind of character. He is obsessed with AI and creating the perfect being um, without any of the kind of human imperfections. This production uses film as a storytelling device. The audience is watching live capture on stage. So one of the dancers is gonna be filming using a camera to capture the live action. And then we're gonna be intercutting that with pre-recorded footage as well. So the audience might not know at different points whether they're watching things that are actually happening on stage or whether it's something that has been pre-recorded. I'm a photographer as well as a dancer. We've worked with Jason Marks before, so I kind of knew uh, their style and what they can be looking for. I'll be on stage with the dancers and there'll be a few different screens on stage. We are creating kind of like a pathway for the camera. I don't think it's really been done before. It really helped being both dancer and photographer. Being a photographer, I know my way around the camera, so I know how it works and all the technical side of it. And then as a dancer, it really helped as well because I'm basically having to know my pathway as a cameraman, but I also need to know all the dancer's choreography. I'll be right in the middle of them when I'm filming, so I just need to make sure I'm not in their way. It's a matter of knowing what everyone's doing as well as what I'm doing. I think the, the audience will be really immersed into the, into the piece. You know, they'll be feeling like being a dancer, basically, because you'll be watching them on the screens as well as performing right in front of you. We don't tend to kind of make the whole scene and then get the camera into it. I think it's because how we started making work. Uh, we tend to devise with the camera there. When we were developing some scenes, Bruno, he would have some material, but then We'd be working out maybe where it's being shot from and he would be adapting. So it's kind of quite a conversation, I think. Every bit of choreography is, is kind of tailored to the person in front of them and we contribute a lot as well as dancers, which is nice because A, you know what fits your body best, but B, also it's quite a creative experience. The kind of trust that they have in us in terms of characterization, they also give us in movement. I think they see us in two different lenses. They see us through like a camera lens and through like what they're seeing in real life. That's fascinating because sometimes you're not quite sure what they're wanting. 
and then you realize afterwards, oh right, that's exactly what they had in mind. We're really excited about how we marry filmmaking with this idea that it's all happening live. Traditionally in ballet, in order to tell a story, there's a lot of mime and projecting right to the back for people to be able to follow this really quite codified language. What we're really interested in doing is trying to make this a totally different experience in terms of making it much more cinematic. You can place a camera on somebody's face and then just simply the flicker of an eye, a thought or an intention with the camera placed on them in close up can read so much. What we're really excited about is being able to, you know, amplify that medium for storytelling through film and marrying that with, with live ballet. It's a constant challenge and it's totally new for us.